What is going on guys, it's Prodigy, and I know it's been a while since I've made a video here on this channel, but I'm back with another video here, and obviously I'm going to be talking about Blackout here, as you can see the gameplay in the background is Blackout. This is a 7 kill uh, well, victory, I believe, I'm pretty sure I win this game. Um, this was a couple days ago, probably on day 3 of the beta, I would say. Um, but I really just wanted to come and talk to you guys really quick about a couple of things. Like I said, I know it's been a while since I made a video on here, but you know I've been in school, I've been busy with work, I've been working full-time, I'm still working full-time, but I'm done with school now, but the main reason why I haven't uploaded is just because, you know, I haven't really had that game that really just gave me the desire to make videos or, you know, do anything. Like, I was mainly a Call of Duty player. And I haven't really enjoyed Call of Duty that much in the last couple of years. So that kind of, you know, got rid of that, you know, very quickly. But, and, you know, I've played Fortnite too. You know, I've, I've even uploaded a lot of videos on this channel of Fortnite. But, you know, I can't really just say that, you know, I really love or enjoy Fortnite. I like Fortnite. I still play Fortnite very often. But I don't love Fortnite. It still is, you know, just... It's kind of a filler game for me. I play it because, you know, it, nothing better is out right now. So, or is there, huh? <laughs> kind of using that segue. That's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about Blackout. I want to talk to you guys about, you know, the expectations and, you know, the future of Blackout and, you know, how it will fare against other games like Fortnite. Um, so I guess we'll start there. Let's start with, you know, the big question. Is Blackout going to kill Fortnite? Uh, and the answer is no. Blackout's not going to kill Fortnite. But Blackout will make a, a significant impact into the Battle Royale industry. Now, going into this, you know, because I, I had been off of Call of Duty for like at least two years, you know. I was into Black Ops 3. Uh, Black Ops 3 was the main game I uploaded on this channel. Uh, after Black Ops 3, obviously we had Infinite Warfare. I played Infinite Warfare for a little bit, but I just couldn't do it. Um, wasn't a huge fan of Infinite Warfare. Uh, then of course we had World War II, and you know, World War II was cool, but it was just boring to me. Nothing really drew me into World War II, so I didn't really play that much. I, I like, I, I don't even think I've made it to max level on that game. Like, I, I'm World War II just did not interest me at all. So, I've been off of Call of Duty for a pretty long time. Like, I I just haven't been playing it. And so, when Black Ops 4, you know, they first released the multiplayer beta, I played it a little bit. You know, it was fun. It was, it was cool. You know, it was, it was Treyarch. But, you know, it still wasn't enough to make me feel like, oh, Call of Duty's back. You know, I was kind of just still, you know, on my, you know, playing other games, playing Fortnite, playing... Uh, Rainbow Six even just playing different games but Blackout was something that I was particularly interested in you know and to be honest with you guys I didn't really have any expectations or big expectations of the Blackout mode like I, you know because we all talk about Call of Duty and how you know the games always laggy and things of that nature so when they talked about doing a Battle Royale mode I didn't really expect anything from them like okay these guys are really going to try and put it, you know, 80 to 100 people in a lobby and they can't even get 12 people lobbies, you know, acting right, you know, okay, well, we'll see how that goes. And, you know, I kind of just wrote it off. I never really took it seriously, uh, them doing a full functioning battle royale mode. So going into the blackout beta, I had zero expectations, absolutely zero. I literally just loaded the game up and said, okay, well, let's play a game, see how this is. And then we'll, we'll, we'll form an opinion. But after actually playing the Blackout Beta and playing a lot of the Blackout Beta, I have to say that I am 100% genuinely impressed with how they actually did this. I don't know how much of the development time in the three years was allocated towards the Blackout mode, but whatever it was, if it was three years, if it was six months, I don't care, it runs amazing. The game is amazing. Uh, you know, pretty everything about the game pretty much is amazing, aside from a couple things, you know, we're going to talk about that. But overall, 
this mode, Blackout mode, has convinced me to buy Black Ops 4. I was kind of on the fence. I was like, do I even really want to play Black Ops 4? I'm like, if I'm going to pay $60 for this game and I'm not even going to play it. So, should I even waste my time? But after playing Blackout, I 100% will do so because the game was just that good to me. And we're going to talk about likes. We're going to talk about dislikes. We're going to talk about the state of Battle Royale in comparison to the other games. And we're also going to talk about the future of um, Call of Duty and Battle Royale. So, let's start with Blackout. You know, likes, dislikes. First off, I didn't... I was a, I was a big unknown as to how the game would actually run. But this game runs very smoothly. Like, the game uh, isn't really laggy. I know they're on dedicated servers for the Blackout mode. Uh, so it's it's not it's not very laggy. It runs smoothly. Uh, it appears to be you know 60 frames per second for most of the time uh, on console. That is PC is a different story. But um, you know I don't I didn't really get too many frame drops or, or lag spikes or anything like that. The game was fluid. The mechanics are good. The gunplay is good, and I was just impressed. Like it's it's a very good game. So kudos to Treyarch for developing this and, you know, just making the game run as smoothly as it does. Uh, I, I honestly am shocked. I, had, I, I did not know that they were capable of pulling this off. Um, moving on from that, though, let's talk about um, some things. So I, I love the blackout mode. I love I, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, it brings me back to, this feels like a true Battle Royale game to me. My ideal Battle Royale. Fortnite's cool and all, you know, it's cartoony, it's less serious. It, you know, you can do some wacky things in Fortnite. Fortnite also does have a higher skill gap for me with the building. Um, and, you know, some people love it, some people hate it. But for me, this Blackout mode feels like my ideal Battle Royale. You know, just, just guns, you're landing. And you're fighting people, you know, and, you know, the best man wins. That's that's my ideal battle royale. You know, the loot seems fairly plentiful. I don't really land places too often. And I'm not able to find a gun. Very rarely does that happen, which I think should be the case. I don't think it should be hard to find a gun. I think everybody should be able to find a gun fairly quickly just to be able to, you know, fight it out. And the loot seems plentiful in this game. So uh, that's good. Like I said, the game also runs smoothly. Uh, the vehicles are surprisingly good. Uh, this is Call of Duty's never really done vehicles like that, uh, so I'm I'm impressed that they've been able to implement vehicles very, uh, very as well as they have. You know, especially with the cargo truck and you know having passengers in the back of the cargo truck. You know, having that free movement in the back. If you play Blackout, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but being able to freely move in the back of the cargo truck as opposed to being like stationary in a seat in the back like most battle royale games uh that's very impressive to me and i'm very glad that they were able to implement it like that because that's that's unique that's that's good that's a very good game design um <clears throat> the shooting mechanics are great you know it's traditional call of duty stuff you know if you play call of duty you know the shooter portion of it you know how call of duty how call of duty plays and it's the same thing in blackout you know the shooting is good uh, it feels fluid. It feels good. So absolutely no complaints there. And uh, what am I saying? Oh, the safe zone. So uh, I think they've done the safe zone mechanics very well. Uh, I think they got like the damage that the gas does when it comes in. I think they have that right. Uh, I mean, as far as good things go about that game, I think that pretty much covers it. Like... Overall, like if I had to give it a rating right now, uh, you know, pre-release as to how the game is right now, just based on Blackout, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, uh, just because, you know, I, I truly think it's that good. Uh, now, of course, that doesn't mean that there's not room for improvement, because there definitely is, and we'll go ahead and talk about that now. So, things that I didn't like about the blackout beta and i'm not going to talk about any of like the bugs and glitches or anything like that things that aren't supposed to happen because you know tracks are aware of that and they're fixing that for the actual launch of the game i'm going to talk about actual game design things that i dislike 
and uh, hope for them to change when the game releases. So, first of which, uh, I know this is a hot topic uh, amongst everybody who's played Blackout, uh, but it's armor. The armor in Blackout, you know, in most Battle Royale games, you have some type of armor system. PUBG is the same thing. You have level 1, level 2 armor. Uh, Fortnite, you have your shields. Uh, H1Z1, you also have armor. And so, you know, it's a necessary thing. I'm not mad at the fact that they have armor, but the armor in its current state is far too strong. Like, when you're shooting somebody with armor, it, it needs to feel like you're actually doing damage to them. Right now, it doesn't feel like you're, you're really even hurting the person. And if you're getting in a gunfight with somebody when you have armor versus when you don't have armor, it's almost like, like you're guaranteed to lose that fight because if they have armor, so they're going to win it <laughs> like no matter what. It, it just feels like armored enemies uh, are able to abs absorb way too many bullets in its current state. Uh, especially when it comes to the level 2 and level 3 armor. Level 3 armor is just ridiculous. So that definitely needs to be nerfed appropriately uh, when the game releases. Now, like, Treyarch has addressed that. You know, they, they are working on it. They've said that they plan on nerfing level 2 and level 3 armor uh, upon the release of the game. So that's good. We'll have to actually see, you know, the changes that they made and see how it plays out when the game releases. So we'll wait for that. Uh, but that is something that I didn't like. Um, uh, is there anything else I didn't like? Let's think here. Um, aside from, you know, a couple of bugs and glitches there, I don't really think there's anything else that I really disliked about the Battle Royale mode. I love the wingsuit mechanics, you know, whether you're just uh, jumping out of the hel helicopter and landing for the first time or even jumping off of a high uh, building. I love the wingsuit. It feels great. It, it works great. And it's not, it hasn't really been too glitchy for me. So, I, again, props to Treyarch for doing that. That's another unique feature that they've done uh, for the Battle Royale mode with the wingsuit. Uh, I, I really do enjoy that. that that's, that's a good thing for there. So, uh, we cover the likes. We cover the dislikes. Like I said, really my only main dislike of the game is the armor and they are working on that so that's kind of like a you know uh, a footnote and see how that tr uh, plays out once the game uh, releases now um, we're gonna talk about uh, Call of Duty and of course the question can it kill Fortnite I'm not even gonna really talk about that much because Call of Duty is not gonna kill Fortnite because Fortnite's a free-to-play game that is appealing to the masses right now. So you, you can't really kill a game like that because it's just too accessible. So I don't expect Call of Duty to kill Blackout. Uh, and I don't think Call of Duty would be a failure if they didn't kill uh, Fortnite. Because, you know, no game right now is going to kill Fortnite. Because, like I said, it's a free game that's a, a basically playable on every single platform known to man. PC, PS4, Xbox mobile uh, nintendo switch you you can play fortnite on anything so it's, it's going to be extremely difficult to kill that without doing the same exact model um so we're, we're not even going to really touch on that uh now what i really want to touch on is just the future of call of duty in battle royale particularly and this isn't something that i've really heard a lot of people touch on too much uh, they've kind of just focused on, you know, can Call of Duty kill Fortnite? But what my real question is, is how is Call of Duty expected to handle this going forward? Because, you know, Call of Duty is a game that releases every single year. And, you know, back when it was just multiplayer in a campaign or in zombies... That was fine, you know, just a different studio would, you know, pick up the pick up the torch, you know, make whatever design changes they want to make, make the game how they want to make it, and then bam, ship the game. And that was that. Now, however, that they're throwing Battle Royale into the mix, it gets a little tricky, in my opinion, because it's like the Battle Royale uh, game in itself 
is a game that's designed to run for multiple years. Like, if we take all other Battle Royale games, you know, H1Z1, uh, probably one of the earlier Battle Royale games that most of you guys remember, you know, that released years ago, and it, it released as an early access game, but, you know, it was designed to play for multiple years. And, you know, they would constantly update the game, add additional things, add, you know, different points of interest, add different weapons, things of that nature. Same thing with PUBG. PUBG is a game designed to, you know, go for multiple years. And Fortnite, you know, Fortnite, they update the game almost on a weekly basis, you know, constantly introducing new content, uh, a new addition to the map. Uh, a change to the map, you know, they may destroy one part of the map and, you know, put a new structure there or introduce different weapons or vault different weapons. But all in all, the game is designed to be that one game for years to come. This puts Call of Duty in a very tricky space because is it just going to be a yearly thing? Like, you know, next year... Uh, what is it, Infinity Ward's turn to make Call of Duty? And what are we going to have their version of Battle Royale as well? Or is it just going to be multiplayer and we're just going to stick with the Blackout on Treyarch? Or how's that going to work really? Because they've, they've, they've kind of, you know, messed up the timeline here. They've put themselves in a tough spot because, you know, the consensus, everybody loves Blackout right now. Everybody's really enjoying it. But, you know couple months down the road when it's getting time to you know announce the next call of duty which you know we all know it's a yearly game is it going to be another battle royale mode are we going to constantly switch from battle royale to battle royale as a year go as each year goes by i'm not really sure that's a good model to go by because again the the just the idea of battle royale is not meant to be redone every year. Like, imagine if, uh, you know, PUBG or Fortnite, you know, released a brand new game every single year. Like, next year they announce Fortnite 2. It'd be a little weird because, you know, it's not designed to be re-released every year. It's a game that's constantly supposed to be worked on, tweaked, and updated, you know, to keep people interested. So when you when you introduce a, a franchise like Call of Duty into this space, it really puts them in a tricky spot, and I'm really interested to see how they handle it because it typically is just not designed to be re-released every single year. So that's one of my main concerns going forward. Um, I, I honestly have no answer uh, or have any idea, you know, what to expect in the future. Uh, all I can say for right now is that I'm excited for Blackout and I can't wait for it to release. I am 100% confirmed going to purchase this game now uh, and I'm going to play it a lot. Uh, hopefully this means I'll be creating more videos because I'll be more inspired to actually create the videos. Um, but what do you guys think? You know, if you guys are watching this. You know, what do you think about, you know, the future state of Call of Duty, particularly in them in regards to them releasing a new game every year? Do you think it's going to work? Do you expect them to release a new Battle Royale version every year? Or do you think they're just going to leave this to Treyarch, you know, and they'll constantly make updates to it? I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as things I have to say. You can leave a like on the video if you guys like. And are you going to purchase Blackout? Let me know that as well. Uh, and that's really all I got to say to you guys. I've talked for a pretty long time here. Uh, so you guys have a good one. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later. This is Prodigy. See you later.